So I'm gonna show you how I created this using generative AI and After Effects. <laughs> the future is here. I had a chance to play around with Runway ML's new video to video Gen 3 tool. And let me show you how I created this using Runway ML and After Effects. Okay, so I'm in Runway ML and you can see it has tons of different tools that you could work with, but today I'm just gonna be working with the video to video Gen 3 Alpha. So when I get here, I'm gonna click on select assets and I have my clip here of a woman walking down a path barefoot. I'm gonna add a prompt and I'm gonna hit generate. Now you could use most of these tools with a free account, but it gives you limited credits. Now, after running a few different prompts, these are the results that it came out with. Really incredible results and I'm excited to composite these in After Effects. All right, so I'm in After Effects and I'm gonna bring these clips into a new composition all together and you can see they're all synced up perfectly because it's the same exact clip, just different variations. I'm gonna create a mask around this area here. And if I invert this mask, this will reveal the wintry clip and I could just play around with the mask and feather it quite a bit. And then I'm gonna create another mask within that and I'm gonna reveal some of the desert, which is kind of cool. And then I'm gonna bring my clip up here of my fiery planes, and I'm just gonna mask out this fire here, feather it out quite a bit, and I'm actually just gonna extend this all the way to the end of the comp. And you can see it changes our hair a little bit, but it still, it still looks pretty good. If I wanted to remove my subject from my actual video, Runway ML has a really nice tool that makes it super easy and effective. So I'm gonna go to all tools and I'm gonna go down to in painting. If I bring one of my clips in here, this is just one of the clips that I generated. Let's say I wanted to remove her to have a little bit more room so she doesn't kind of cross the path of my main subject. All I have to do is just basically brush out my subject here just making sure that I cover all of her. So that once that's all set, if I preview this, pretty amazing, our subject's no longer there. Obviously you could see a little bit of ghosting in the middle here, but if my subject is overlaid on it, this is a perfect clean plate that I might need. So I could just export that when I'm done. Another thing I could also do if I go back to all tools, I could actually go to remove background. And if I didn't want to use After Effects Rotor Brush and if I want a little bit easier solution, what I can do is I can click on my clip here. And a lot like the new Meta SAM2 model, basically I just have to select my subject here. If I'm missing part of her hand here, I could just click the include mode and just click on her hand. So this saves so much time and if you need like a nice clean, really quick roto, it exports it with the green screen background and I can bring it back into After Effects and key it. So there you have it. Here's the final result.